Hi, welcome to Wood Stuff Workshop. I'm David. Today I'm going to show you my Facebook Marketplace bandsaw find and then I'll show you how I go about setting it all up. This was found on Facebook Marketplace and it was just £30. But luckily it had only been on there eight minutes so I jumped at the chance. I was actually looking for some roofing sheets. I'm going to get out the rest of this uh, dust and everything, vac all that out and then we can get on with setting it all up. So I'll take this guard off because we'll take off the blade and set everything all afresh. Let me just bring you in closer on here. So as you can see on there, the guides, there's massive gap in between the guides where they weren't close to the blade. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them out. They're a bit worn, but they'll be okay for now. What I'm going to do is take them out and spin them over and put them in that way with the fresh flat edge. And uh, I'll just keep them in loose for a start. Allen key screws on the back here that I undo on the side that you can undo to move everything backwards and forwards. So we've got this one under there. Uh, them guides are the same again, like a big gap in between them. So I'm going to undo them and spin them round as well, put them in the other way. I'm going to take this table off, uh, the table bed off. As you can see, when you've got the table top off, you can get to all this lovely then. I'll just put them in. And we'll put the blade back on. So we just get it over the tyres. Let me just bring you back a bit. So once we've got it roughly on, we'll uh, just start taking up a bit of the slack. Right, the position you want on here is let me get you completely out of here. On the top wheel, you want the like throat bottom of there's the teeth, and then where it goes down to the the bottom of the teeth, that sort of piece in the bottom there that wants to be running about in the middle of your tire. Don't worry too much about the bottom one; it's the top one that you want to get roughly there. So we'll do that up at there. Keep all these loose so that the blade can go wherever it wants on both, uh, both bottom and top for a start. You can test your tracking just by just spinning it like that gently and seeing if the blade's running uh, running off. You can see whichever way it's going on there. So you gently turn it round. I think this is what happened, why this is cut out on there. I think somebody's put the blade on and started it up to see what the tracking's like and it's come forward when they've had that there and it's cut through. So you're better off just spinning it a little bit by hand for a start and then you can see if it's staying staying where it is. If you turn the wheel and it starts going backwards or forwards what you then need to do on the back they have these so you'll have one locking nut uh, this is a lock nut on there so you'd undo that and when you move this one back uh, 
left or right it changes the tracking and like say you turn it one way to go one way. so what you want to do is turn the blade and if it starts running forward just adjust the uh, undo the locking nut and then just adjust it a bit and see if that's going worse or better and then you'll know which way you want to go but you just move the when you're moving them just move them very slightly at a time because uh, if you turn it too much it will just go can just run and keep going off right off the edge whatever depth of blade you got will determine how tight you do it but all I do as you can hear that's all still loose so I just turn it until there's just a little bit of movement on there but I just listen to the blade as I'm tightening it if I push it just a slight little bit of movement on there I've got to be careful not to get it too tight obviously if you tighten a little one too much they'll end up snapping the next stage is to move these guides so yeah these guides want to go in but just to next to the blade but not touching it so you don't want the guides far enough forward that the teeth uh, that the teeth touch it so you're just having it at the side of the blade so if I've got it like that as you can see that's too far back because there's still half the blade that's got no guide next to it like that far is probably about right if you have it too far forward let me see if I can get it for like that The teeth are then close to hitting the guide at the front there. Right, the next thing to do, this bearing is not to touch, uh, the blade isn't to touch the bearing until the slight pressure put on. So obviously if you got it right back like that, there's too much of a gap because the blade's not going to touch the blade, uh, guy bearing, sorry. And if you have it touching the back like that, it'll be running on the uh, bearing all the time, which you don't want. You need it just taken slightly back so that when there's pressure on the blade, it'll touch and start the bearing moving. Tighten it off. Spin the blade and it shouldn't move the bearing and then when you've put a slight bit of pressure on the blade just a little bit like as if you're going to be cutting some wood then it should be touching it. So I'll do the same as I've just done to the top to that bottom and then I'll be on with the next job. It's fitting the table back on again next so what I've done I've found another bolt to go in and I've also replaced a couple of the ones that were in it because the threads didn't look very good. So these will do for now. Two there. Therefore, you can undo that lock nut and move these and therefore sit in the table. Make sure it's square. You'll see when I get to do that, but that's what them two are for. That's the table on. The table, the holes in these, the holes that are in the tops of them are quite wide. And the idea of that is so that you can slacken off these bolts and then you're able to adjust the table slightly left and right for you to get the uh, bed in parallel with your blade. So the next part is to stick that blade guard back on. And then we're nearly ready for giving it a test. I've got to make a new insert, but I think I'll, what I'll do, I'll make one on the laser at work out of a scrap bit of acrylic. I'll see if I can do one there. 
and I'm just going to stick some tape on that for now, just some duct tape to keep that together. Oh yeah, I'll just put a bolt, you need a bolt in here, there's supposed to be a bolt going through there, because as you can see there's a bit of movement in there, and the idea is the bolt goes through and then gets done up from the bottom and it clamps them, keeps them both together so that it keeps them nice and level, that's the idea. And then you just take the bolt out when you want to change the blade. Let's start it up and see how it runs. This seems to vibrate a little bit, but the blade's staying good and the table seems to be staying pretty still as well. So now we'll try and set up this table, make sure that it's all parallel to the blade. I've got this piece of just rough wood, but I've planed off this side so that side's all nice and straight. What I'm going to do is just draw a straight line parallel all the way down here just going to run the saw up this line so I'm going to uh, have the saw running and I'm going to cut along the line freehand staying on the pencil line and then I'm going to stop about halfway that's what I'm going to do so I've left that in place so that's uh, cut along the line and I've stopped and what you're trying to do is see if this edge is parallel to the edges on here so you can go off the front of here and see if it's square so if I've got a big square here let's see if this ends up square right look you can see that that is not square because it's touching at the back there but it's like that there's that space there so that means that this uh, table needs undoing and moving across but we have to keep that in position on there so that's another way of doing it so now what i've got to do is undo them not uh, bolts under the table on there and then budge it across until i can get it all nice and square right once you've got the table fitted where you think it would be right just go off your straight ed side again and just do another line parallel to this side just out the way of the other and then just try again and then we'll check it again and then you can see if it's right then that's better probably just a little touch moving at this end uh, just across to the right on this side across there but that's not bad when you do a cut and it's not running right against your fence as long as your fence is parallel with all uh, your table then if it's not running right just undo your table a little bit and move it whichever way you need to you need square and you want to make sure you have your square flat to bed and make sure that it's at 90 degrees to the blade like that and this is perfect at that but if it's not all you do is undo the lock nut under there and then just move this whichever way you need to go just uh, either screw it in a bit or undo it a bit and that'll alter where you're at and just keep checking it with your square until it's right and then just do up your lock nut hope you like the video if you did if you can give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed if you can hit the logo down in the corner to subscribe that would be brilliant I'm trying to get my subscribers up to a thousand which would be great if i can do that so uh yeah the last thing to do on here is give it a clean i hope you agree that it's 30 pounds well spent so i'll give this a clean up and then stick one of my stickers on there and then I'll get it in use. It's a, a brilliant find. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Take care.